Um, this is the same flight as the previous one that I recorded a uh, narration for take and this with the uh, glasses camera which sees me looking around and um, also shows you the when the wings aren't level on the top of the loop more better than, than the uh, cockpit mounted camera so just doing the whole thing here it'll be about 10 minutes I think uh, from takeoff to landing and everything in between. I, I haven't edited this down at all. So just climbing away now. I'm always uh, squeezing in flights at the end of the day when I finished uh, teaching on the micro lights. So I have to be down at 8 and I often only get away at quarter to 2 or 10 to 8 so the flights are often short but um, as those of you that fly aerobatics know you have a lot of fun in 10 minutes and give yourself a fairly good workout. Um, the laser, as I mentioned in the last video, has 180 horsepower rather than the usual 200 or 230. Um, and it's a fixed pitch prop, so performance is not all that brilliant, but it's taught me a lot and it continues to do so. So, uh, not being able to afford things like extras and things, this when this came up for sale, it was a real, real bonus for me. Okay, uh, just having a quick little look around, and uh, I think we're just getting ready, probably for the first loop in a minute. There we go, uh, up into the vertical, looking at the wings, trying to keep them level. Wings quite level on the top of this loop, so I was pleased with that. And there we go, coming out the bottom. Okay, and now I'm doing those turns which I think were included in the last video. There's my first little bit of upside down flying. You can see a bit of the penetrating work I used on the cap peeking onto the windscreen there. That all needs to be cleaned up. A little bit of a turn, very little. I said 10 degrees in the last one. I don't even think it was 5. But anyway, there you are. I have turned up to about 45 degrees out of the 360 circle at about 60 degree bank uh, minus 2 Gs. I find it quite hard to sustain the nose level um, inverted. There we go into the first attempt at a uh, vertical roll and you can see me falling over the top now falling backwards back into the sun climbing up again just turning looking around looking at my watch for about seven minutes left <laughs> uh, there we go. That's one of the things that have to be down at, at 8 at Popham to not upset the neighbours too much. Slow roll. Didn't work too badly. A little bit of speed up at the end. There's another one. Slightly better. And I think I'm going to go to the right now. Yep, there we go. Not so good. The nose sort of slipped out a bit um, when I was inverted. Uh, too much rudder obviously and up I think into another attempt at a vertical roll there we go a little bit better than the last one do run out of speed very quickly but uh, I think I need to get brave enough to dive to dive a bit faster before putting up point roll and as you as you saw when I was upside down I hadn't got the wings quite level so I added a little bit in later there's one to the right not too bad a little little bit less uh, pause than I should have on the on the third point but it's okay I'm not flying for competition I'm too old for that just having a lot of fun A, 
this guy in New Zealand or his uh, his YouTube name I think is come fly with me I think he asked me to fly a uh, sportsman sequence that he does in the Cessna 150 I haven't got round to that yet so if you're listening um, or if you're watching this one day I'll try your sequence if you could maybe send me a a link with a with the Arresti diagram so I can start learning to, to, to read those as well. My aerobatics is purely for fun. Okay, I'm just crossing over to the other side of the airfield now. Um, I don't want to keep flying too long in the same area with a noisy plane. And there we go, another four point roll. Also not stopped quite level on top, but yeah. Another slow roll. Maybe push the nose up a bit more than I should have sped up a bit at the end. I've got to still learn how not to do that. Uh, what's this? I think this might be the best of the three vertical rolls I did that day. Still not perfect, but I did manage to do a, a complete turn and zero airspeed at the end of the of that. A little bit more than a quarter turn coming out. And this is where I had a little bit of a go at pushing up into the first quarter nearly of, or of, a, uh, of an outside loop. Wind's not quite level coming out there. Just turning around, having a quick look for traffic. don't get much of it on, on a Saturday evening. The sun really affects the glasses camera, makes those lines from the top. There we go, up into the Cuban 8. As you can see, wings not level on top. Or coming up, putting up at the bottom, for that matter. Uh, not bad on the second one. Stop, roll out. Up we go, back. I uh, can't remember what I did. After that, I think I had to go with a spin now. Yeah. Got two and a three quarter turns rather than three I was planning. Half one, half two, half and another quarter, and out we go. Towards the sun, headed on roll, double flick coming up, I think. There we go, two, two rotations on a flick roll. And then I think it's just the um, one, a, yeah, one aider on roll and now I'm turning around to land. I think I might have done a roll now. Yeah, I, I cut all this turn out in the in the previous video. Let's look at the watch. Time for one roll, I think. Ailer on roll. Yep, there we go. And now I've got to come round and land. Time's up.
Uh, you can see runway 03 stretching out just past the trees there. Airplanes parked along the uh, front of the buildings at Popham. A lot of trees on the approach on this one, so you end up quite high uh, and you need to side slip to get down. A little bit of a slip there. You can see the school airplanes parked just in front of my left wing there. Slip to the end, straighten up, slow down, slow down, slow down, try and keep it flying. Touches down about 60, 65 knots, and the tailwheel doesn't like it, bounces around a bit, but there we go, we are done. Okay, thanks for watching.